Good, good cold morning here in Georgia. Woke up this morning and it was 18 degrees. Whew. Oh, I tell you, come on spring. Uh, so I wanna do an open tag and it's gonna be called Warren Cliff Wednesday at George Adventure. Warren Cliff Wednesday, open tag. I know everybody might not have Warren Cliff knives. I hadn't had them long. Uh, I bought a few here lately. I really, really, because basically I'm not going to lie to you. I carry three three knives. I got a fixed blade and two pocket knives, or I've got a I've got a modern folder with a pocket clip and two two slip joints, pocket knives. So, but I, I've I've put. <coughs> Most days, or a lot of days, I'll put a Warren Cliff uh, blade, uh, a knife with a Warren Cliff blade in my pocket because that gives me kind of another option for a blade. Uh, you know, I'm still going to carry the 75. Always going to have a uh, Saudi, but I do swap out for the Warren Cliffs. Uh, and I do carry them during the week some. I, I swap them out for a 75 or a or a trapper. But I've got I've got a couple of DLT trappers, uh, bare head trappers with uh, the Warren Cliff blades. I've got I've got some copper locks with Warren Cliff blade. I got a copper head with some, with a Warren Cliff blade. So uh, and so I've got this one today, and I've been carrying this one all week. This is this is a copper lock. This is my first copper lock I bought. Uh, and it's it's uh, two reasons I, I, I it caught my eye was that I wanted to try a Warren Cliff blade and I like the black micarta. And number three, I like the, the uh, a brushed blade and the brushed bolsters. You see they're not polished. The blade's not polished. And honestly, I like the blades that way. I'd rather have the case, any any knife, I'd rather have them have the, the brush blades, but you don't always get that, so. But this one has the brushed bolsters and the brushed blade, and it's got a nice Warren Cliff blade. So when I first saw this, you know, I did like I did like that, and I like the I like the shield. I love the arrowhead shield. But I had never ever carried or tried a Warren Cliff blade. Never have. And I've had the sheep's foot blade uh, in the 75s, and my my uh, mantis my mantis fixed blade is is a sheep's foot. But I had never carried a Warren Cliff blade, so I wasn't even sure if I would like it. Really wasn't. Uh, but you know, so just i was just kind of looking around at different places and and this is before i knew that dlt had the the uh barehead trappers with the one cliff blade so uh so i was just looking around i got on smoky mountain knife works and i looked and then i think they had this one on smoky mountain knife works but it was a little more than what i bought it for and i found this one on ebay and you know, I went back and forth about it. You know, I do have the 75 with this same handle, the uh, uh, Macarta, the black Macarta. I love, I love Case Macarta. I think they do a great job with it. You know, their bone is, I love their bone. Yeah, and I know they have some issues with centering and a little bit of gapping, but I don't worry about that too much because the knife still works. But as far as, you know, the finish on the bone, the finish on the micarta, it's, it's pretty much flawless as far as I'm concerned. Uh, and this has, this has the nice black micarta. So I found out, I, I carried, I started carrying the Warren Cliff and, and I found out that, you know, it, it's not a, of course it's not a, it's, it don't have a swept up blade like a, like a, uh, uh, Sodbuster does with that with that skinning blade, or it doesn't have a like the clip blade and just swept up. Uh, but 
you know, it just, it just flat across. So I thought, well, I'm going to have a hard time getting used to that. But honestly, this thing, this thing is really, really a useful blade. And I know Richter, Michael Richter loves to carry, he loves the Warren Cliff blades. And he's actually, him and Doom Crew were the two that kind of got me looking at these a little bit more. Um, and I've seen Jersey have them, use them. Big J, I've seen, I've seen a lot of different guys use them, but this is a new blade for me. So I've been using it. I, I think I bought this thing late last year, uh, mid year or whatever, late last year. I've done a video on it, but, uh, but I've really, I've really enjoyed using this blade. And I know I say this a lot, but you can you can dig a splinter out big time with this thing, or you can you can do you can do some fine fine work with your point on this. Uh, yeah, the blade the blade is straight. Uh, you know, it, it doesn't have any curve in it. Period. You know, you can see it's 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 straight. Uh, I mean, it, it, no, no curve at all, none. So that's one of the things that I had to get used to as far as using one, but they're, they're, they're useful. Even though the blade is straight, you can do a lot with this, you know, and I, I, you know, I probably wouldn't, uh, clean process a deer or a turkey, you know, not saying you couldn't, you know, but I, I would rather use a, a curved blade. But there's a lot of chores you can do with this. Man, I've cut leather with this thing, you know. I'll have it, you know, I'll have it in my shop out there, my leather shop, and I'll cut thread with it. Uh, I've cut a sandwich with it. And I'll try to take pictures of using this thing a lot more. But uh, it really is a useful blade. And I, I love this one right here. I, I This is probably... My favorite Warren Cliff knife is this black uh, copper lock because it's, it's got the it's got the arrowhead uh, shield on it, and I love it. I love the shield. It's got this long nail nick, which I think is cool. You know, uh, you can see the nail nick. Uh, stainless steel. It's not a it's not a uh, uh, carbon. Now the ones I get at DLT. Uh, I've got two of them. I got the green Macarta and I got the tan Macarta. And I've got both of those. And and so uh and I've got a I've got a uh I've got a uh copper lock with a with a harvest orange bone. Uh I've got uh, I've got a copper head, just a regular copper head with yellow bone with a with a Warren Cliff. They case makes a lot of Warren Cliff knives or some pretty bone or whatever. Uh, I saw a trapper with a 6.5 bone stag. I've been eyeballing. So, you know, it's just a, it's just a growing up, coming up. I never saw anybody with this blade shape ever. N none of my uncles or my dad or guys I hung out with, you never seen them with a Warren Cliff blade. So I'm the kind of person I I like to try new stuff. So so I kept kept like I said looking, you know. And it, it took me a few months, you know, to kind of pull the trigger on one. So I kept looking at the Warren Cliffs, and I noticed Rector Rector used them. Oh, I do have a uh, I do have a sway back, a little small sway back uh, with a Warren Cliff blade. And if you ever, I don't carry it. Uh, I like I don't like a knife that small. That would be the size knife my daddy would carry, but I love the knife. I think it's a beautiful pattern and I just I wanted one. And I've got my eye on another one. If I can find a, a chestnut bone one or a red bone one, I'm gonna get one put up. But um but these these blades are useful, trust me, they're useful. Cause I I was a little bit apprehensive about it. You know, I thought, well, if I don't like it, I'll just, I'll put it up, you know. But I think just, even the way it looks, I just think the way it looks is, is just cool, you know. It's just, it's just a neat looking blade.
but I promise you, you'd be surprised what you'll use this thing for. Uh, and like I said, it's got this real sharp point and you gotta be careful with it because it'll poke a hole in you. Uh, but you can do a lot of little fine things with this point. Uh, you know, this copper lock here, you know, this one's actually pretty flawless. It, it doesn't have anything, uh, you know, even the blade, you know, even the blade right there. Uh, I can't find this one on eBay. I wish Case would make, I wish they would make the, the green micarta and the tan micarta in, the, in this. Uh, and the red and black micarta. I think they do have a red and black micarta copperhead in this. I've got I actually got one saved on my watch list on eBay, but you know, if you've never ever carried a Warren Cliff blade in your pocket, uh, I challenge you to find one, pick one out, uh, watch some of Doom Crew videos. He's been carrying them longer than me. Michael Richter's been carrying them longer than me. So, uh, you know, try them. Try you one. Don't don't be afraid. You know, you don't even have to you, you don't even have to use a case. I know GEC makes them. Uh, so, you know, try you. And if I could find me a GEC at a good price, I would I would get one. But I can't ever figure out when they're gonna drop them, so I don't worry about it. But I've actually I'm actually watching a Warren Cliff blade. Uh, uh, GEC fixed blade, one of the little H20s. It's got the orange Delrin handles, and I've been watching it, and and I've got it on my watch list. The guys came off of it once, so I'm gonna kind of hold tight on it. But yeah, man, try one of these. I promise you, you won't regret it. You won't. You will not regret it. Uh, if you like, if you like um, this uh, uh, Macarda, DLT's got them right now. They got they got the tan they got a tan and a green micarta barehead trapper and it if you've never used one of those and held one they're nice and they also got the clip point which I think I'm gonna get it eventually if they don't if they don't sell out of them but try try the Warren Cliff I think you'll I think you'll you know not everybody but I think you'll you'll find a lot of uses for it and you'll enjoy carrying it. Uh, I love this, I love this copper lock. So, anyway, that's my Warren Cliff Wednesday open tag. I hope I hadn't stepped on any toes because I looked this morning. I even, I even tried to, you know, I tried to find find one on YouTube. I typed it in and I didn't see any. They may be an open tag, but Georgia Venture started another one. So, you know, if y'all want to do it, that's fine. If not, I'm good with it. I don't. You know, I don't expect everybody just to spend their Wednesdays doing an open tag, but I try to do I try to do the open tags as much as I can. Uh, you know, so I know there's a couple out there I hadn't done, but I'm on I'm on do. But uh, anyway, try your Warren Cliff, George Adventure. I appreciate it. If you like my channel, appreciate you subscribe to it and leave a comment. Um, hit the like button. Hit the bell. I hope everybody has a Merry Christmas. I'll probably have another video or two before Christmas. Uh, but I hope everybody has a Christmas, a great Christmas. Uh, God bless you. Let's let's remember our Knife uh, group. I call it the Knife Brotherhood. So let's let's remember all of all of all of our knife people. So God bless you. Remember what, I, remember what I always say, keep your blade sharp. Be sharp. Pay attention to what's going on around you. God bless you. Have a great day.